Hellblade 2 is one of the most anticipated Xbox first party games and gamers can expect one of the most technically advanced games to date when it comes out. Ninja Theory is striving to achieve a highly detailed world full with realistic graphics, animations and bench at the market audio design and just yesterday we learned in an interview how Ninja Theory are actually gonna achieve that benchmark audio and it is similar to some very cool explanations in how they achieved the amazing in-game graphics and animations in the trailer that they have shown at the last Game Awards. So today we talk about the technology of Hellblade 2. Hello gamers from around the world, this is Boxenberger, the video game enthusiast from Germany with my latest video and I know it's been a few weeks but I had a couple of things to take care of and now I'm back doing the edited videos so I appreciate everyone who stuck around and if you end up enjoying this video it would be absolutely awesome of you to consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content that is now gonna come in again on a regular basis. Thank you so much guys, you are awesome and now let's dive into Hellblade 2 and we have multiple things to talk about about, like the return of binaural audio, the way how Ninja Theory are using an AI for audio lines during the development process and how Ninja Theory is using also an AI for graphics and animations. So let's start with the audio design. Everyone who played the first game knows that this game was best experienced with headphones on and that is because Hellblade 1 used an audio technology called binaural audio. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Binaural audio is a very special technology how audio is recorded. The basic idea is to record the audio source under the exact same conditions as the listener is actually listening to it. This way a significantly more realistic 3D effect can be achieved over the traditional stereo recording where the 3D effect is then added by post-processing and computation, like for instance in Dolby Atmos. Binaural audio recording is achieved by setting up a recording environment that exactly mimics the human experience when we are listening listening to the audio. This is typically achieved by spacing a pair of microphones with the same distance like the human head, placing the mics exactly where the ears are located. This way one can replicate how our ears are actually capturing incoming sound and process it. And that's by the way the reason why binaural audio requires you to listen to it via a headphone because then the audio can be exactly replicated the way it was recorded. And recently Ninja Theory announced with a short clip that binaural audio is going to return to Hellblade 2 and that they actually actually started recording the lines for it. And you can absolutely expect that Ninja Theory is gonna take the quality of the recording with that bigger budget and the new studio to an even higher level than they already had in the first game. But this wasn't the only news about audio technology that Ninja Theory is gonna use in Hellblade 2. And this one was received a little bit controversial, but mainly because people took it out of context. In a recent article about a company that is called Altered AI, it was mentioned that Ninja Theory is working with the technology that Altered AI is providing. Providing. And that is a technology that uses machine learning to produce voice performances. Officially the quote is that this promises to give game developers the tools to create compelling professional voice performances. It has a library of around 20 professional actors and hundreds of what they call for more common voices that devs can use to populate their games. Just submit a recording of what you want to say and how you want to say it and a performance comes out on the other side. So basically what this suggests is that Ninja Theory is using AI technology to do the voice acting. And they wouldn't be the first one to do this. For instance, if you have played The Ascent, you remember that twin stick shooter from 2021, you have already experienced a game that features AI voices. But Ninja Theory came out and officially elaborated on how they are using the technology. They were asked if they are looking to replace human performance in game development and their answer was no. For clarity, we use AI tech for placeholder content only to help us understand things like timing and placement in early phases of development. We then collaborate with real actors whose performances are at the heart of bringing our stories to life. And this only makes sense to use it this way because a game like Hellblade 2 where the entire development of gameplay is basically tied into the actual conversations, voice acting, storytelling etc. The developers kind of need this placeholder recordings in order to develop the proper animations, building up the set pieces and make the game as engaging as possible. So no worries here, Ninja Theory is still 
not gonna rely on human recorded voice acting. As previously mentioned, they are gonna bring back the binaural audio design. We have already seen actors in the new studio along with the audio director showing that they are actually still using human voice recording in order to deliver the most immersive audio design that they can develop. However, the use of an AI as a tool for development of audio design and voice performances just shows you that Ninja Theory is trying to build a state-of-the-art game. And they are no stranger to the usage of an AI. Earlier this year, we learned that they also used machine learning to develop ultra-realistic animations and physics. At the last Game Awards, they have shown the first gameplay trailer and in this trailer we have seen this gigantic troll that Senua and her tribe are fighting. They wanted to add realistic physical properties to all the skin flaps that are hanging off this troll. They added proper gravity simulations for all those body parts and this was just too heavy to be computed locally on consoles or PC. So they partnered with a visual effects studio called Silver Dynamics and they added all the performance capture data and whatnot into their real-time trainer, which is a completely new technology that uses machine learning in their VFX tool to train the troll asset to perform all the animations along with the novel pauses in real time while maintaining the rich dynamics of the original simulation. And with that machine learning trained animation work, they were able to run the animation work of that troll and new pauses in only about 3 milliseconds per frame in the Unreal Engine. And if you are more interested in this technology in particular, I have a dedicated video on that and I will link it at the end of this one. But as you can see, Ninja Theory are exploring the means of machine learning in order to provide fantastic tools to develop the game. It doesn't necessarily mean that the game itself will use machine learning when we eventually will run it on our consoles or PC, but Ninja Theory are trying to build their own smart tools to help them develop the most immersive and technically advanced game possible. And with that, I already want to wrap it up. I find it very interesting to see how open Ninja Theory is talking about technology that they are using and about their ambition for the game. And I know a big speculation point is when the game is actually coming out. It was first shown at the Game Awards in 2019 and the first game came out in August 2017 and ever since we have gotten on a regular basis updates either coming in the form of development diaries or like in December 2021 an actual gameplay trailer. So we can only speculate about when Hellblade 2 is gonna come out. We know that at the moment the game is in full production and that they are building out the world and levels. So I definitely want to hear from you in the comments down below. When do you expect this game to drop and what do you make of all these updates on technology used by Ninja Theory, especially the audio stuff. And one thing is sure, Hellblade 2 will be a true next-gen or by now we have to say current-gen experience. Ninja Theory has incredibly high ambitions to deliver a technical masterpiece and given the fantastic storytelling of the first one, I have no doubt that they are also gonna excel on storytelling and gameplay mechanics such as a significantly improved combat system. And all this makes this one of my most anticipated Xbox first-party games and I bet I'm not alone when I say I can't wait to see more of Hellblade 2. But for now I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so, please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I also want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports this channel with the channel memberships to get early access to all my videos with the super thanks in the comment sections and of course the super chats and simply being there at the weekly gaming show I have here on my channel. You guys are the best community there is. And besides here on YouTube you can also hit me up on Twitter where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I see you the next time and game on.